Okay. Time we have all this information coming out. I want to move on now to New Jersey Governor Chris Christie getting some support now from Republicans, John. Some, Believe but it. not much, I might add. I think that in the four days since the revelations, the biggest story of it is how muted most Republicans are, both in New Jersey. Why? See, in New Jersey, they don't like him. Okay? Even the Republicans don't like him, and they're afraid of him. He is steamrolled over a lot of Republicans. But isn't it, John, that they are seeing a guy who embraced President Obama during the last week of the election, during their hurricane cleanup? He's a moderate Republican, and this is bottom line payback. Yeah, that's a big part of it. But I think in New Jersey, Republicans have had a tough relationship right. with them. Well, Pat, does this matter to anybody outside of New Jersey? Well, I don't. It may matter presidentially. Eventually, if he did something. What, what it stuns me about and really bothers me is, and we're political insiders, so let's talk about politics. The Democratic Party has go, is going after yes. Christie with Department hook and of tongue. Justice. Department of Justice. They're talking impeachment. This is for what the Wall Street Journal said, not to belittle it. I mean, it was a terrible thing, but a traffic ticket compared to Benghazi, the IRS, and these other scandals. I watched Bob all Woodward right. this morning. Let me, let me watching Bob Woodward say everyone should investigate all these things. Well, what have you people been doing? The Republicans play like. They, they are, they are Three totally blind mice. mice. Can, can we talk about, though, the defense of I didn't know? I mean, when Governor Christie says I didn't know, you hear Karl Rove and, and others saying, well, it's, it's Giuliani. He didn't know. He didn't know. When the president does that, no, nobody even questions him. He, he did no, exactly. that about the NSA. He that, didn't know. Okay, but he did the, that about the, the IRS scandal. The he didn't know. The contrast is this. The fury with which the Democrats are going after Chris Christie in four days, just like that. They got committees they going, subpoenas flying right. all over the place. We are nine months into the IRS scandal. We're a year and a half since Benghazi. We have 179 right. Republican congressmen saying, please, Speaker Boehner, have a select committee to get to the bottom of it. And by the way, it might hurt Hillary. By the way, and Harris, they don't do a thing. The Democrats play for keeps, keeps and the, the Republicans play beanbag. They play beanbag, and this is the best example. And also, they have the press, the mainstream media, playing it with them. Yeah. You I know, mean, I was going to bring up the point about the IRS scandal, the nine months since. It's on all of us, though, to keep pressing the questions, but it's kind of hard when their answers are the hand. Let's talk about GOP timidity and, and taking advantage, if you will, politically, of some of the failures of the administration. Critics are saying, and I know you guys are among them, not enough is coming from Republicans. Uh, when they could take shots, they're not taking them. We have a lot of response on Twitter about this. Some political strategists see Democrats as vulnerable after the botched Obamacare rollout, weak jobs numbers, scandals within the administration. But the insiders here say the GOP response has been pretty quiet. Too timid? The Fox News insiders are coming back. Tweet us at Harris Faulkner, at FN Insiders, hashtag Fox Report Weekend.